Hey everyone. So I'm going to do a quick video here on how you can use the IQR method to help identify potential outliers from a data set. So I'm working in StatCrunch to start with, and I have a data set here that um, wait times at the ER for two different hospitals. And I'm going to start just by working with um, one of the data sets. But in order to do the IQR method, I need to know what my, my quartiles are. And basically my, my five number summary that you would often use to make a box plot. So I'm going to come here to the stat menu and I'm going to go to summary stats and I'm going to go to columns because my data is in a column. Okay. I need my ER wait times. Now because I have two different hospitals here, I am going to use the group by. And I'm going to have it group by the hospital name. That way it'll calculate the five number summary for the county hospital and it will also calculate the five number summary for the regional hospital. Now in the statistics that I'm going to have it show me, because I'm strictly focusing on the, um, the IQR method, all I actually need is Q1, Q3. And then if you wanna select the IQR, you can, even though we could calculate it just by knowing our Q1 and our Q3. So then I'm gonna press compute. And it shows me um, that summary that I selected, the quartiles and the interquartile range for each of these um, hospitals. So I'm going to use the county information right here. And I'm going to go ahead and compute my lower fence and my upper fence. So now just to kind of do a really quick explanation of what the fences are. So if you've ever driven on the interstate, you have seen the speed limit sign where they say that you have a maximum speed and then you also have a minimum speed. Okay, that's essentially what we are finding. So the maximum tells you what's the highest, you know, allowed number that would be considered, you know, technically okay to be driving. And what's the lowest here at our minimum that you could be driving to still be considered, you know, okay legally. Well, that's what um, our lower fence and our upper fence is going to be when we are using this IQR method to identify potential outliers. It's going to tell us what's the maximum value that we should have in our data set to be considered normal and what's the lowest value that we should have in our data set to still be considered normal. So the maximum value is often referred to as the upper fence. And the minimum value here is often referred to as the lower fence. Okay. Now, these fences are based off of the different quartiles of our box plot. So our upper fence, okay, we start here at the third quartile, and then we're going to jump above that until we um, we compute this number that indicates that's kind of our maximum speed limit. That's the, the fastest we should be going. That's our highest data value. Now the formula for it is actually not too bad. We take our quartile three, and then because we're jumping up, we need to add, and then the one and a half is a standard value that's part of the formula. That's always going to be one and a half. And then we're gonna take one and a half of our IQRs. Now your interquartile range is actually the length of the box portion of your box plot. So it's really Q3 minus Q1. So for our data set that we have here, and again I'm doing county, I would need to take 27 because that's my quartile three, and then my IQR is five. And you'll see that if I were to take 27 minus 22, quartile three minus quartile one, I would have came up with that same value of five here. Okay, so ours would look like 27 plus 1.5 times five. Now you do have to make sure that you follow the order of operations. So you need to do the multiplication here first. So take one and a half times five, which would give you 7.5. And then you can go ahead and do 27 plus 7.5 and that gives us 34.5. So for our data set, 
that's kind of like our maximum speed limit. Okay? We have just found the maximum data value that we should have in order to be considered normal to be 34 and a half. Now our lower fence is a very similar calculation, but we start down here on quartile one and we're gonna jump backwards. So it's the same setup as our formula for the upper fence, but we have to use slightly different values. Okay, so we're gonna do quartile one, that's our starting point. And because we're jumping backwards, we now have a subtraction sign. And then it's again that 1.5 times the IQR. So now I need to go back to my stat crunch. And my quartile one was 22. And my IQR is still five, that doesn't change. Again, do that multiplication first. And now when you do your subtraction here, you're gonna end up with, oh, come on, there we go. You're gonna end up with 14.5. So that's our lower fence. That's like our minimum value that we would have over here. So what we have found now is we have found kind of the, the endpoints for the range of values that would be considered acceptable. So as long as our data set has all of the values between 14.5 and 34.5, then it would seem like they, they all kind of follow the same normal pattern and we, we don't have any potential outliers based off of this method. So now what we need to do is we need to go back and we need to check our data set to see, well, do we have anything that was either lower than 14.5 or higher than 34.5? Okay, and I already have my um, my data set sorted so that the numbers are in order. So if I come up here, I'm going to check the low end first. And it looks like we have several outliers here. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Okay, so there were six um, visits at this particular hospital that were below the lower fence. So these would be potential outliers. Now we also need to check the high end of our data. So remember our upper fence was 34.5 and we need to come in, we need to see, okay, we have one, two, three, four values on the upper side that could have been potential outliers. Now, just because they, they fall outside of our fences doesn't guarantee that they are outliers or that we need to do anything special with them when we're doing computations. It's just kind of that red flag that says, hey, there might be something going on here. Maybe we need to look at them. Now, I do want to quickly show you what the box plot will look like for this particular information. And again, I need to group my hospitals. That way it um, makes the two, the two different groups. And you'll notice with the county one here, it has all those different dots. Well, those dots correspond to our potential outliers. So StatCrunch will automatically do a modified box plot for you. And it can give you a hint, since there's dots in here, that there are potential outliers. So that's just one method we have, and it's known as the IQR method. And again, your formulas that you're gonna be using are Q3 plus one and a half, your IQRs, and that'll give you your upper fence, and then Q1 minus one and a half IQRs, and that'll give you your lower fence.